Greetings Indie Warriors and welcome to yet another weekly rundown of awesome indie games. I'm Old Gamer Joe and before we get into our huge November rundown which will highlight this month's biggest indie releases, we want to take a moment to thank Flashbulb for sponsoring this video. Their release Rubber Bandits came out back in 2021, but the Halloween spooky spree just went live. Did you miss Rubber Bandits the first time? This is a great little party game where you do whatever it takes to steal the most cash and reign supreme. This special Halloween event is live now until November 10th of 2022, so it's the perfect time to jump in with Halloween just around the corner. Let's kick off this great month of November, folks! Who's ready to gobble up some indie games? If you enjoy survival and base building elements in your games, Against the Storm will be releasing November 1st. This game also features roguelite elements as you attempt to restore the smoldering city to its glory. With five unique biomes and villagers to manage, this one looks deep and intense. Farm every inch of fertile soil. In such harsh lands, exploration is key. Gather everything you can, and fulfill your villagers' needs. You better not favor one species over another. Utilize their potential. You wouldn't send a lizard to the lumber mill, would you? Give them raincoats. And for the queen's sake, prepare for the storm. Sometimes you'll fail. It's a common risk in this business. But sometimes, oh, sometimes it just clicks. Everything falls into place. Folks hold their heads high. The flame grows ever larger. The yields are unlike anything you could imagine. The goods flow like a river. Nothing can stand in your way. It feels as if you were building ten cities all at once. It's like you're about to rebuild the smoldering city on your own. For her. Ah, oh, but that rarely happens. Not as long as the forest has its say. It's so peaceful when you first settle here. Rich glades are full of resources. Yours for the taking. But with every fallen tree, with every ancient site sacked, the forest grows angrier. Ignore the warnings, and you will bring doom upon your people. So, my fellow, do you have what it takes to become a Viceroy? Adorable puzzle game Lonesome Village is up next. Well, it's more than just a puzzle game, as there are also life sim elements here. Taking place in the town of Lonesome, you'll create strong bonds with characters, solve tricky puzzles, tend to the garden, and uncover more of this story where you are attempting to avoid an evil cult. You will be able to talk to her with the mirror, make friends along the way, and form unique bonds with them. Get resources, buy and craft items, and you can even decorate your home. You can do many things in Lonesome Village, from harvesting to fishing. And don't forget to collect different objects. Make some memories with your new friends. Solve puzzles in the tower to rescue the villagers. Who is behind all of this? Lonesome Village. What happens when you mix an RPG with shoot 'em up gameplay? Things get dangerous. Danger Forever is an on rail shooter that, at a glance, reminded me a bit of Panzer Dragoon. This game looks very challenging with bullet hell segments and also features procedurally generated levels to keep things fresh. Upgrade your dragon, unlock new difficulties, and even attempt to tackle survival levels when this one launches soon.
More base building coming at ya, and lots of folks looking forward to this one. TFM, The First Men, is an oddly named title that is in fact based around the first men on the planet. This is a deep, intricate strategy title with tactical elements that will probably go way over my head, but it's for someone out there. Not my usual genre, but the RPG elements do have me slightly interested. Puzzle Point and Click The Past Within offers co-op gameplay where one person is playing in the past and the other in the future. Now that's a pretty cool idea. It's worth noting that both players will need a copy of this game and it can't be played alone. The game is short, however a replayability option will allow for fresh puzzles. Color me intrigued. Compelling looking Metroidvania Ghost Song is up next, a 2D adventure title that looks fantastic. Taking place on the moon, secrets await as you gain new power-ups, take down monstrous foes with a deep combat system, and discover the ghost living within you. What happened to you? We have story-rich puzzle adventure The Entropy Center, a game where everything is a little backwards, featuring very difficult puzzles. The game reminds me a bit of the Portal series, which is never a bad thing. I also think some of these visual effects are just fantastic looking. After a short delay, it looks like online co-op shooter from space will in fact launch on the 3rd of November. It looks really fun and allows for up to four players with great visual flair to it. Get ready to fend off hordes of alien creatures using a massive catalog of weapons. Can't wait. Man, 
down. Let's go. Roguelite beat em up time. Bravery and greed looks to steal our hearts on the 15th, fusing together some of the greatest indie genres. The game features co-op and competitive play with a deep combat system and character choices. Just don't get too greedy. This next release falls more into that double-A category, I'd say, and I went hands-on with it back at PAX East. Love the game. Evil West is a third-person action title with an over-the-top premise and tons and tons of gore. The game features close-ranged melee attacks as well as quite the weapon variety, with jaw-dropping graphics and a really exciting-sounding premise. On to our last one for this week, and that title is The Night Witch from Super Mega Team and Team 17. This is a Metroidvania shooter, and the shooting action looks phenomenal here. You even have spell cards for various effects and strategies. Gain the trust of allies, and fear not, the developer is making this one extremely accessible so anyone can enjoy. That's all for this week, but fear not if a game you're looking forward to in November wasn't listed here. We will be back next weekend with even more indie game releases that we missed on this list. As always, thank you so much for supporting clickbait-free independent content here at iDream of Indie. Head on down to the description box below for all of the exciting ways you can help out with this channel and help us to bring a voice to the voiceless ones in gaming. If you can't do any of that, feel free to just hit the subscribe button or like, whatever you gotta do. Thanks for being here.